welcome to the first ever. He's right there. It's not CGI. CGI. He's right there. Look at that. You can hear his sound. Yes. And yes, I've already asked Ramon Foster, star of the Ramon Foster show, if he's available to play left guard in Cincinnati. Can hit your ride. Yeah, I know. I can catch the plane. But I saw Mr. Rooney earlier today, and I said, you know what? If you need me, he said, no, nah, Ramon, we're okay right now. Oh, no, I didn't that. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I was, his I was, football acumen. I was actually too prideful to bring it up, but I did see Mr. Rooney today, though. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, for anybody who who missed out on my column Friday morning on DK Pittsburgh Sports, uh, it, it wasn't all that popular. People like hope. <laughs> you know, I, I found that out in this business, especially before yeah. a season. Yeah, I don't like to get rained on. Well, you know, and I can't moan. I can't get past the offensive line. I just can't. Well, DK, uh, first and foremost, what's fanat- fan is short for fanatic. It is. They go more crazy than you do. Okay, and you're. I don't know. We call it a realist, or what do we call it that you do? Uh, fatalist. Fatalist. <laughs> With that being said, I, I get it, though, because you question the one thing that's been constant as of late, and that's the offensive line. And now that so much um, focus has been put on not just Pittsburgh offensive line, but everybody's offensive line, from Cincinnati to Lamar getting guys to the Rams, the Rams getting guys. <laughs> think about that. So now, like, the fact that we talk about it more, people realize how important it is, and that's a big question mark when it comes down to this team this year. What will they be like? We saw the preseason. As far as we know, the preseason wasn't what we thought it was going to be for those guys, considering what they said their off seasons were. And now that you're in a new regime of non-bend football, you thought, okay, this is the group that's going to roll with it. And it hadn't looked like that. Thing is, um, it has to be put out there regardless. And I I feel like the negativity that kind of comes with it is that – the majority of people don't feel like it's going to look good and be good. So you bringing them down doesn't bode well. You know, it, it, it doesn't. But this is this is the question that I have for you. I'm okay. not sure it's one that I've ever asked you. But when when you guys – let's go to the little bit earlier yeah. in, in, in the offense. Uh-huh. Not super early, yeah. okay, because this is not that young of a group. But when you've had that period where people said, man – these guys are just killing us right now. Or you'd have a couple of games in a row, we which 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 did happen. Yeah. What is the turnaround? Can someone just say, like the coordinator or even the O line coach, say, "Listen, this week, fellas, yeah, we're not going to be springing you out to the next level, or or doing a whole lot of super left right stuff, or pulling." Do you simplify the process? What do you do? Is that even a thing? It, it is a thing because if you can't protect long term, as far as like three seconds where a quarterback can fake a play action and go deep with a ball, then there is no reason to keep it in. So for this group, I, I think you do early on at least look. It might look like what it was. You get the ball out quick. You get those guys more comfortable with more reps. The one thing that I said in the beginning was, look, this is a group that has to play together. They have to stay healthy together. They got to have some bad moments, which they had in the preseason, too. And from that, you grow. From there, you become a unit. Right now, I still think it's five individuals. Individuals. Actually, they, they've even talked about this. Yeah. There, so, so you asked me what happened in the early stages of what we became. There was that sense of pride. There was that sense of, hey, we're kind of holding us back. And it sucked. Um, and the, you know what the craziest thing about it? is you just got to simply go play. And somebody has to be that guy that says, look, just, and I say this all the time, but it really does mean a lot. Like, follow me. Like, I got this pancake block right here. Or look, you got my back and I got your back. They're not there yet. No. And it's simply because they haven't had the time to actually be together like that. I, I guess the thing that, look, if, it, if they even improved individually, yeah. that would be a stride. Like, and I'm going to single out one guy here because I know you like him, and, and actually I do too, and you know who I'm going to bring up, and that's Dan Moore. Yeah. Because he's the one that struggled the most near the end of the preseason. He feels, in fairness to him, like there were things on film that showed some improvement that maybe yeah. wouldn't have gotten recognized by novices like me that he would have noticed. <laughs> but the, you could look at it and say, okay, there's something there. that What do you want to see from Dan? Fight. In, What's that mean? Fight. Like I said, when you know they're going to attack, we've been speaking about this outside left leg. 
if I see him push back on that and end that or either stop that charge, then I realize we got something. He is conscious about correcting that. If we go into this game and it's still that outside edge, DK, right that's over here. still getting right attacked and right turning, yes, and still turning the corner, then I'm going to continue to question it. Well, what did you do during the practice of week? There was a gap week between the last preseason game and the beginning of the season. That's got to go away. That's where that fight comes into play. That's where that look. I'm a pro now. Well, I what can't is do that? these. You're not a left. You never left tackle here. But at the same time, you know, yeah. s- stop me it's right now. Like I'm going over this way. What so are you doing? What's you, the fight mean? Is that hand work? That's no. It's literally this. You say, all right. Te- technically, I'm throwing it out the window. I'm going to go beat you up within the realm of protecting my quarterback. <laughs> it's legitimately that it was sometimes in a game where I was going up against a guy and I knew I had to slow him down. I would cut him. You know, like, is that to, I'm going to bring the fight he, to you. He just put that on. He just said this. <laughs> I had to. He what? just said this. TJ Watt, that's for you. You yeah. know, TJ's still mad about getting cut in that preseason game. I don't blame him. Not you know, but preseason, I had, are you kidding me? You know a guy the I had Lions. to do it to? I did it to Calais Campbell. And I'm friends with him. We're cool. We're super cool. But I had to slow him down just to say, not today. Not today. You you can be Calais Campbell against everybody else, but you're not going to be it against me. <laughs> not me. Or you won't have kneecaps. Can That's we get that right. out of the way? If I get a 15-yard flag and you aren't in this game anymore, it was a worthwhile flag. Hey, I'm sorry, but it is a doggy dog sport. You know that. <sighs> Literally fight this weekend. That's all I'm asking. Fight. Go at them like they were Calais Campbell. When we come back, there's other components to this game, too. And game we're we're going we're we're to talk about that as well. Welcome back to the Ramon Foster Show. I'm in person. It's, it's, it's kind of cool. Like the first time, actually, let's think about this. When we're, we're, By the way, for anybody who doesn't know, we're at our downtown headquarters. Yeah, we're here. Ramon is in town to watch the Tennessee Volunteers lose on Saturday. Oh, he got me. I thought you were going to – I thought you were on my side. You were just – I thought you were on my side, Actually, I don't have a horse in that race. I just wanted to get a reaction. So what you're saying, I can pay you to actually root for us? Is that (laughs) – there's the hundred. You know what's Jack funny? Did. A bunch of people came in here because there's a lot of Tennessee fans yeah, in town. They came in here today and they would walk in and they're wearing all their stuff and they I'm see sorry. nothing orange yeah. and they turn around and walk right out. <laughs> Other than somebody <laughs> telling me they saw a game worn jersey in a store for twelve hundred dollars, I was like, I got value here, DK. Whose blood was on that shirt? <laughs> Cincinnati, I hope. Calais Campbell's. <laughs> Oh, no. I'll take a bingo cat, though. I promise you. As yeah, a pet, until it gets too big, then I'll send it to the city. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably illegal. We shouldn't say that. Anyway, no. we got football this weekend. We do, <laughs> and it's Joe Burrow against the Steelers. And and yeah. as for as much as people like me and him are going to focus on the offensive lines, I think that's where it's all going to either begin yeah. or end for this football team. Moan, when you look at the uh, – Burrow against this secondary, or yeah. Burrow against this pass rush, or Burrow against this front, the Steelers are capable of stopping him slash them, aren't they? He, they? They are. And, again, this is honestly the battle of the two Joes because Joe Mixon, Joe Burrow. Joe Mixon, I think, is most important because there's one thing I know about the DNA of this defense is they don't want that stat line of 100-plus yards or 120-plus yards. Or 240 yeah. over two games, which is what Mixon ran on them last See year. What I'm saying? And yeah. not just that. They ran up the score. Mm-hmm. They they pretty much own, owned us last year. Yeah. last couple of years, we're just being honest about it, man. So watching or stopping that growth. I'll say this this time around. Cincinnati's not surprising anybody. Everybody know that they've invested. Everybody know that Joe is that good. Everybody know that Joe Mixon is that good. That defense holds its own also. Um, But when it comes down to Joe Burrow, it's honestly a matter of stopping him from creating. If you stop him from creating because he's mobile enough and now actually smart enough to know to get rid of the ball too. We're looking at a guy who is grown in his league. They feel real good about him. And what better way to to get after him is – suppressing his run. I don't think you can fully stop their run game. Suppressing it. From the sides. And keeping him in a box where he can't see down the like field. Like they do to who else in the division? Uh, Lamar Jackson. Mm-hmm. 
that's what you have to do with them. And, and of course, this is a big task. I'm not going to push it out there as if this is going to happen. Mm -hmm. It's got to take everybody on deck to actually get this done. I'm talking about Mika on the back end. We honestly have to see what Devin Bush looks like in this passing game and not just there. And the running game, if you come predictable, bring us for Lane and Devin in, and you have that whole ordeal, it, it can't be that throughout the entire game. And, of, of course, up front, I really don't even question those guys as much. I look at them and I say, they're going to do their job. It's just a matter of what the support is going to look like if they do get moved out of a gap sometime. And that happens on the front line, too. Yeah, it, I mean, with Cam Hayward's not playing alone this year No, uh, on, on, on the D-line. I mean, you've got – Tyson Alualu is back. Yes. Uh, this is a guy who's done some of his best work in these AFC North matchups. Uh, <laughs> Larry Ogunjobi, who knows the field very well. And okay. I'm sure he's excited to get after it, too. This yeah. is his former team. He knows some of these counterparts, and that doesn't mean he's going to disclose all types mm -hmm. of information. Teams change year to year. But there's a little added incentive to, to go out and, and get a game like this on the road. And um, – this is going to be a challenge. It is. I, I'm I'm okay with saying that the Steelers have an advantage, if only because they have T.J. Watt on their side. Oh, my God. One yeah. of the things that's funny, Moan, a lot of people, and I'm guilty of this myself, Yeah. Where we'll talk about the Steelers, and we'll even talk about their defense, and we'll mention every guy back there except for number 90. And because yeah. it's just so – you just it's so – you take it for granted. It's expected. This yeah. is one of the old post commonisms right here. No matter where you go in McDonald's, if you order number one, it's going to be a Big Mac. Anywhere in the world. Anywhere that's in the, the world. That's, that's the line. line. Yep. That's TJ Watt. And, and so, <clears> again, it's almost disrespectful on the way he wasn't talked about this offseason. Of course, everybody always wants the champions, champion Miles Garrett. But TJ is the reigning defensive player of the year. Oh, he's also a better football player than Miles Garrett. I mean, I wanted you to say that. I mean, I mean, <laughs> let's let's just be real here, okay? Yeah. If you only wanted to look at head to head, and I know they don't count that sort of thing. Uh, I know, yeah. But TJ has it has an opportunity here, I believe, against this team to be a disruptor. Yeah. In addition to ceiling, because that's one thing he's been well, he's great at everything. But one of the things that he, whether it was him and Bud or now him and Alex Highsmith, yeah, is they've been good at. We'll get after the quarterbacks. Yes. But we'll also contain him. You know what's the, there's the, a difference. The, I mean, early bud yeah. over pursuing. Yes, a hundred percent. And also a different aspect of what's added to this team too is Larry Ogunjobi. He's a a really good pass rusher. Not just run game, but that's one thing Coach T I know looks for in this defense. Guys, it's, it's awesome you stop the run, but can you actually get after the quarterback too? Can you actually go get sacks? That's why that's why Cam is so valuable. You look at like Tyson Hulu Alu. Like you look do anything. At, look at his growth. Mm -hmm. Like uh Javon Hargraves will tell you, Tyson helped my career because he was a guy that could also pass rush. And he was a guy that went to uh Philadelphia and got a bag. And we're watching him continue to be a good pro. In yeah, he didn't get it for his run stuff. No, he, he was always it. good at that. Exactly. Yeah. So I mean, Larry O is to me, I hope he plays a big role this weekend in that aspect of if they do get after the quarterback. Cam and him are up the middle making plays. Takeaways, takeaways, takeaways. You know, They're stingy. That would mitigate. I know they They're are. Stingy. It would mitigate so much of the other stuff that we're talking about. <laughs> when we come back, the only segment that matters. Hey, Mo. <laughs> Welcome back to the Ramon Foster Show. I'm very special guest. My wife, Dolly, is here. I felt left out. And she's going to do... The Hey Moan segment, because why not? Because we can do this stuff in yes, person. Yes, we can. I just learned this two seconds ago. She did. <laughs> hey, Moan. Hey, Dolly. How are you? I'm good. We're so happy to have you here in person. Thank you. It's so good to be back. It really is. And I'm, I'm excited. I'll be completely honest with you. Being here right now, it's been since 2019. I know. And I'm just like, this is second home. This is, you know, like I, my adult life was spent here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I have four years in college. Oh, wow. Didn't and think that. about that. Like my adult life has been here for the most part as of now in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So character building all in Pittsburgh. I mean, you can kind of say I'm a Yanzer too, right? <laughs> so, yeah. he, so he comes to town <laughs> well, yeah. and, and he goes to, out to Latrobe because he is a member of the, the board. Of St. Vincent, Vincent College. college. Yes, I was. Uh, I am. I am. Uh, and with that being said, uh, coming into the city, 
I was a little nervous. I'll be completely honest with you, just because I was like, okay, I wasn't look, looking for a reception. I was just like, this is home. This is, I still have a place here also. And I'm just like, but I hadn't been back. Yeah, it's I, different. It is different. And I was telling y'all, as I got off the plane and I'm walking through the airport, number one, I was trying not to make eye contact. I was just like, no, 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 no just keep walking because if I get stopped, I'm, I'm going to have to be here for a while. Not as much of an issue in Nashville. No, no well, it's, it's some, getting some there extent. too, yeah, this, okay, but not yeah. like here though, yeah. which I'm this never yeah. standoffish or anything like that. If you see me, I'm going to stop. That's the thing too. I can't, I can't say no. I can't so imagine that's all you're that. Right. Right. Yeah, because I can't say no. I'm that guy that always does that. <laughs> Uh, but getting off the plane and going through the airport, I told you a second ago, like I was, I took a picture of Franco. Like I did that and I never did that as a player. I pulled uh, my phone out and I did that and going down the escalator and going to, uh, to, to, to baggage claim and whatnot. I was just like that. It was just a feeling of this is some cool stuff. And, uh, I was glad to lay down a lot of my, my work here and just be a part of this organization. And my phone has been nonstop. Uh, I've had a I've lot. Seen go- this. Yeah, <laughs> I've had a lot go on. I've reached out to people. Not sure if I'm going to end up going to the baseball game. It was a lot. so everybody it, wants a piece. It's been a warm yeah. reception, and not just that. Uh, Tennessee fans are in town also, so I have that side that's pulling. Got this side that's what's up. There's, but I'm embracing every bit of this because again, you guys know I always say like being an undrafted guy, you don't know what your value is unless you're James Harrison. Okay, then you know, okay? He knew. He knew, yeah, he, he knew. <laughs> uh, and we all know that, yeah. too. But playing OL and being an undrafted guy, you always just think, well, what, where are you at in this thing? And I'll say this, the appreciation of being back and the love and the, the people reaching out has been well worth it. You know, that's funny. It's something I don't I, I don't think about a lot from, yeah. from, 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 from your perspective and so forth. But, you know, he goes from not being drafted, from yeah. sitting through that whole draft, nobody calls his name, and you come back to Pittsburgh, what is this now, 13 years 13, later or whatever? 14 wow. years later, yeah. And it's going through your head, you know, people are going to recognize me. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, but that's got to feel good. It, it, it does. does. It don't, you know. Yeah, it, It's no. different if it's Ben. Ben, Ben's, He you can't know, go anywhere still, he, you know. He, he can't go to, you know, to – the Get Go Cafe and Market, <laughs> which I forgot to mention, is the. <laughs> oh my God, that sounds deliberate. Yeah, I We're, might go there with you after this. I, I might have to, since I forgot to bring it up at the beginning. Actually, I'm, I'm a little hungry now. <laughs> okay, so you, you're gonna take me. It's what's gonna happen. Um, but you're you're right though. Like um, from a guy that wasn't on that initial eight or nine that was drafted to be an extra is basically the role you're playing to identify that I belong. And then you're reassured that while you're playing and even after you're done, um, I'm just like, all right, all right, this is, Moan, don't be overly humble all the time. Like, embrace this stuff. And that's kind of what I had to tell myself. Like, don't shy away from, you know, being in Pittsburgh. Stiller Nation, once you're stiller, you're always a stiller. And it shows. Well, it, it definitely does. Everybody walking through these doors, uh. they – First of all, they know who you are. And second of all, they're yelling from the door, is he here? Is this where the Hey Moan show? First of all, everybody thinks that's the name of the show. Hey the Hey Moan? Is this is where the Hey Moan show gets recorded? Actually, not a bad show. But you know what's crazy? Most of the times, like, you're, you're De- Deion. Yes. But we call you DK. Right. When you start to get nicknames, that's when you know you're accepted. So oh, yeah. are you accepted now? Oh, the, yeah. the Hey Moan show? Unless yeah. you're Actually, one of those I people think that's what that means. who give yourselves a nickname. Never. No. Don't. No. No you ever want to get crossed off the Christmas card list? <laughs> give yourself your own nickname. Who did? Who did? Lev did. Uh, well, yeah, he did. Le'Veon <laughs> Bell gave himself a nickname. Juice. <laughs> who called him Juice? Did anyone in your room call him Juice? I don't remember Not anybody once. calling him that. D- like in the huddle. Hey, Juice. Hey, it was more like Lev, Le'Veon. Yeah, just, like that was just that. Your just name is a nickname. Right? Yeah. yeah. El Bell. Bell. Yeah. Yes. Okay. See? But, but it was never Juice. I I never called him Juice. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't oh, give him that Yeah, I never called him Juice. But yeah, I think he's got a fight coming up sometimes. So, oh, too. I, that's beside the point. But what I'm saying is. I'm glad to be back. Uh, my boys got baseball tournaments this weekend, so they weren't able to come up. We will be back again, and we'll do this show in person. 
Again. That's, that's or really you got to bring cool. the kids. I would love to meet yeah, them. Yeah, that'd be uh, Screw those kids. Okay, no, that's okay. He didn't say that. <laughs> he no, also he didn't say the thing about Calais Campbell. He also didn't say... <laughs> about cutting people. Um, it did cutting people. Yeah, yeah, something, something, Bengals and whatever else here. Yeah, Bengal cat. Yeah. Give everybody a score it. here. A score. Oh, you really putting me on the spot for You're this? doing this. Yeah. Oh. It won't be a low score. Let's talk it out. It won't be a low score. I think... Pittsburgh can at least put up some points because of their no, big play wide will. receivers. But I think they got a tempo of that Cincinnati defense. I think you got to get the ball out fast. Um, and mm-hmm. I think you got to be able to make Joe Burrow a little frantic. The run game, I honestly do think it take care of itself. They also have new offensive linemen, too. They do. What People type of, forget that. Yeah. What mm-hmm. type of you know cohesion do they have? I, I don't know if it's going to be super high. I, I go – Oh God, dog! Mm-hmm. DK. And it's AFC North. It too, is which AFC means North. You got to put a three points. I will say this: <laughs> I think uh, I think Cincy wins the conference. But I this week uh, Ooh, you said conference. I mean not division. 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 Oh, I was going to say you I'm did watch the Buffalo Bills. Yeah, so, okay, yeah, right, as right, a dude named Josh Allen. Yeah. Let's go, um, Cincy on the road. I give him twenty three. Pittsburgh. 17. Yeah, 23 17. That sounds about right. If it's yeah. a Pittsburgh Baltimore game, the three points were a bit tired. Mandatory. Road game is, uh, is, is yeah. Uh, it's tough. Although, road games in Cincinnati. Yeah. I mean, you know, they, they, the crowd can be still, I think the crowd could still be a 60 40. Uh, they're a little nasty. That 60 there is nasty. They are. Nasty, nasty. Yeah. That's really good. <laughs> that's really good. I'm glad to be wrong, though, this weekend. There you go. There you go. He wants you to still like him. See, that? See how he is? He can't say no. He did say that. I'll write the column that will make you dislike <laughs> what everything's about there. And I won't be snapping a pick with Franco either on the way down. I did. <laughs> oh. All right. All right let's let's, let's do this again. Uh, long form. Go balls. See, he got me to say that. <laughs>